welcome back so let's continue where we have left so the user has already selected the option now what we have to do so we have to ask for the values as well so let's say set slash p and let's give a variable let's say v equal to enter the first value okay and let's echo that for now we will delete this later and set slash p n equal to enter the second value and let's echo that and save it and let's see everything is working fine or not select one other option let's say let's say 5 let's say 6 so everything is working fine here so we can remove this echo ok and I think I, we don't need this one so let's start with addition my favorite so set slash m slash a to hold numeric values and let's give m equal to so whatever we have in v so let's give it v set slash a to hold numeric values k equal to percent what we have we have in n okay and set slash a equal to sum that will be addition of n plus uh, let's do it like that m plus k okay and let's print echo the sum of two number is and we have to write the sum and let's say we don't want to print these things so directly go to exit so let's say go to uh, exit okay so let's test this everything is working fine or not let's come here double click choose one of the option we have done for addition let's say a enter the first value let's say 9 enter the second value let's say 10 the sum of two number is 19 that's working fine let's do the same thing for subtraction set slash a oh, let's copy everything why we have to do this so copy everything till here everything is fine let's say so di for difference dif for difference and we will replace this with this the sum the difference of two number is and let's see everything is working fine or not for difference uh, let's say b let's say 10 uh, like the second number will be 9 10. the difference of two number is 1 that's fine and let's do the same thing for subtract or multiplication copy everything and just replace this with multiplication sign say multi for multiplication let's say multi for multiplication and let's say the multiplication let's write the complete name here okay save it then let's test now double click c enter the value let's say 10 10 
and 100 that's working perfectly and last but not the least do the same thing with the division so come here I hope I remember the symbol correctly it's DIVS for division for division the division of two number okay let's save this double click let's say oh, we don't have an option let's say d 8 divided by 4 equal to 2 that's working perfectly and yeah i think that's it we covered all it and let's say the user want to perform the same action again he or she don't want to exit so what we can do let's first uh, okay let's do one thing declare here it says main not from here actually I want the this thing also and let's say percent main okay and what I want add to go to main go to main go to main and go to main at the end exit and pause if the user choose the option to exit he or she will directly uh, to exit okay let's save it and test everything is working fine or not Press A for addition, press one value, five, five, ten. Again it came. Um, let's add one more bar. It's not looking good to me. Oh, strange. So there is a small bug here. Let's fix that first. So what's happening is when we press E, uh, that's why that's the reason it does it is asking for the input so simple thing just move it here and yeah it should be fine and let's add one more thing here to make it look fancy and save it let's check double click let's say press E good let's say a 5 plus 5 equal to 10 let's say b 5 minus 5 is equal to 10 you must be wondering why it is coming here 10 because 5 and you are subtracting and you are putting negative value so minus minus is plus and that's why we are getting 10 here let's do multiplication c 5 into 6 30 let's go for division 6 for d so 6 divided by 3 2 and last but not the least let's press e for exit and yeah so that was all about calculator project so in the next video we will cover different projects on batscape so stay tuned guys